Hello, and thank you for listening, reading, watching, whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> so I just finished um, making a video about love. It was a message for unconditional lovers, true lovers, who seem to question their essence and question why they keep loving. And I wanted to go ahead and just jump into the next topic and get it over with. And um, I'll be adding this video to the other post. And this is about speaking your truth. And um, you might ask, what is speaking your truth? What is that? What is speaking your truth and standing in your truth? Well, I didn't even really <laughs> know this terminology. Um, it came to me while I was in Italy. I had quite a few <laughs> experiences happen where I was put in certain situations where I needed to either speak up or shy away. But the thing is that I knew deep down what was right, and I knew that I needed to express my feelings. I needed to communicate, and I wanted to be able to communicate. And, um, you know, on my spiritual journey, um, when I first began, I jumped right into service. You know, right into serving others, right into being there for anyone who needed help, who needed a helping hand, who needed advice, who just needed someone to be there. I just said, you know what, I don't know exactly what my purpose is yet, but I know I am here to serve, I am here to help humanity, so whoever needs help, I'm there. And, you know, I was there and very compassionate and very kind, and I allowed myself to observe, do a lot of observing and never judge, and just be there lovingly. And I saw a lot of miracles happen. I saw a lot of transformation happen. I saw a lot of things happen. But at the same time, there were, there were instances where people screwed me over. Or, you know, I was lied to. Or I was not told the complete truth. I was told partial truth. And I didn't know how to approach these topics with these people without offending them. I didn't want to seem unloving. I didn't want to seem, you know, like I didn't want to step out of my path. I didn't want to step out of my service. I didn't want to step out of line for what I was supposed to be. So I didn't know exactly how to stand up for myself. Well, that was, that was back in 2012, two years ago. So while I was in Italy, things happened, and by this time, you know, I knew enough about myself, and I knew enough about, you know, my awareness of myself, and I knew that I was being very aware with every action I was doing, everything I was saying to people, so I knew that when certain things were happening, you know, I was being done wrong. I was being spoken to in ways that were not very kind or just not not loving at all and I had to learn to speak up and say to these people or this person or whoever you know hey um, you know I've noticed this going on um, I've noticed you acting this way towards me or I've noticed you talking to me a certain way and it hurts my feelings because I am myself to you. I am loving towards you. I am accepting. I am kind. Or whatever it may be. You know, but I made sure that I expressed that I was hurt. That I did not understand his or her behavior. His or her um, words, attitudes, whatever it may be. I didn't understand why this person or that person was spewing and projecting their emotions from other things onto me. It was like they were pinpointing it on me and trying to blame me 
or that person, another person was just trying to take advantage of me. So I had to learn to kindly, compassionately, lovingly express myself and be able to express my feelings without any hate, without any anger, without basically putting blame. It was, it was, it's just done in such a way where you say, hey, I noticed this going on and I know myself. I know how I am. I know the things I do. I know how I talk to you. I, I know what I am doing. So I am very aware of what I'm doing. And if I have done something to wrong you and you have not come to me to tell me that it hurt your feelings, then I am so sorry. I am so sorry if I have hurt you in some way, if I have been selfish in some way, if I have been inconsiderate in some way, please forgive me. But in the same token, I would just like to know why you are being this way towards me, because I feel I do not deserve it. This is speaking your truth. This is expressing yourself and having no shame for expressing how you feel. Because regardless of what may be going on in the outside world, within you, we all have the right to observe and acknowledge what we are feeling. We should not deny what we feel. We need to let it come to the surface and ask ourselves why we are feeling a certain way. You know, ask yourself why you are feeling certain emotions. Um, could it be um, something within you that you need to work on? You know, so first you need to self-reflect and ask yourself. And then once you check yourself, and if you notice that, you know, you were, you know, you had right act, right speech, right thoughts, all of that, and you say, okay, no, I know I have, you know, I'm pretty sure I didn't do anything or step out of line, then you need to go to that person and express yourself, but do it in a way, a peaceful way, not in a way to cause war or cause a fight, you know, don't use a harsh tone, don't yell, don't curse, don't point fingers, don't use um, certain words that are like um, fighting words, you know, and just you know, make sure you're being very mindful and very aware of yourself. That means be aware of your body language, your eye contact, you know, the tone of your voice, like I said, all of these things, just be very aware. And um, remember to breathe. Breathe. And remember to think before you speak. Remember to think fully, fully think before you, you know, say something or you know, just to develop your thoughts and put your feelings into words to then come out your mouth, okay? And um, so this is speaking your truth, which also translates into standing in your truth because you are being true to yourself. And um, so this is, goes also hand in hand with protecting yourself, I guess you could say. Because, you know, as we are here to love one another and spread love, be unconditional and compassionate. And I have had people ask, well, you know, I am constantly loving and constantly giving and constantly kind and compassionate, but I am getting taken advantage of, run over used, abused by the same person over and over again. Am I supposed to continue to keep loving this person? Okay, great question. You are supposed to still be loving and have compassion. I realize there's a difference between empathy and compassion. Empathy requires your energy as in giving and letting someone take of that energy because you are feeling as an empath I know that when I feel I am picking up on energy sometimes I end up absorbing that energy without even realizing it 
where I am emitting, expelling my energy and giving to others, and I feel drained. Compassion is different. Compassion is understanding someone and understanding their situation and giving them love, patience, kindness, but without intermingling your energy, as you can say, and I will have to go into detail with this in another video, or maybe, obviously, write, but this also has to do with what I learned while in Italy, so there's a lot I need to blog about, um, but you have to understand that people that are continually abusing you, running you over, taking advantage of you, what do you think? Does that mean they are being loving towards you? Is this love? No. This is where you come to a point and you say, okay, do I need to set boundaries? Do I need to pull back a little bit? Do I need to stop giving so much of myself? Maybe I need to take my own path and maybe it's time that we we walk separate ways. You know, I've, I've it's so hard because I don't, I don't like to walk away from people and, you know, I've tried to um, make friendships with ex-boyfriends, I've tried, and um, when you are continually trying to work and if the other person is going against the grain, if that person is being difficult, if they're not going with the flow, if they're always trying to pick fights, if they're always trying to drain you, if they're not valuing your worth if they are not listening to you, if they are not being considerate, then obviously they are not, they at that point in time, they are not good for you in your life. And I don't want to mean like good, like they're a bad person, but I'm saying that at this point in time, their energy does not serve your highest good. It does not serve your highest purpose. So this is where you would have to make a decision if you want to step back or, you know, um, not talk to them as much, not be around as much, um, and maybe take a few months off or just have a conversation with them and say, I think it's time we go separate ways. I feel like I'm not valued. I feel like you don't appreciate me. and you know, have that heart to heart, and if they don't listen, and they throw a fit, I mean, that lets you know, because if someone loves you, and you come to them and say that, you know, you would think that they would apologize, and want to know why you feel this way, and try to resolve the issue. This is just from my point of view, and this is from my experiences, so I still encourage you to use your own intuition, you know, and really let your heart guide you, but you know deep down, if you're being valued, if you're being loved, if you're being considered, if you're being treated the way you should be, you know, real friends will be there for you, and they will listen to you, and they will always want to resolve issues, they're always going to want to, you know, maybe they might get defensive or you guys might have a little kiss but at the end of the day you and your friends will want to resolve whatever it is and move forward together and be happy and the same goes for lovers so if, you know someone is not wanting to resolve an issue or you know being very degrading very hateful spiteful doesn't want to work on forgiveness or work on letting something go or undermining you, disrespecting you, and you are just speaking your truth kindly, saying, hey, I don't appreciate this, hey, this hurts my feelings, and they're just blowing you off, really think about it, because you deserve to be valued, you deserve to be loved, and someone who loves you is going to step up and is going to work on that with you, and honor you and value you okay so that's just the number one thing being valued you you know you we all know deep down you know and sometimes it's tough 
And I've, I've had to let go of a few friends. A lot of my friends are still around. Just a very, 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 very few that, you know, didn't want to work on whatever the issue was or communicate. And I have not been very successful <laughs> in um, being friends with some exes. You know, I'm a person who loves peace and um, wanting peace and happiness and prosperity and all that. So if it comes to the point where I have to split and go my own way, then you know that it's bad or the person just is not going with the flow, doing the tango with me. So I hope you understand this. I hope it resonates with someone. I hope it helps someone. At the end of the day, I still encourage you to listen to your own heart, your own intuition. I am telling you things from what I've experienced and what I've learned and what I feel is my truth, but we are all supposed to seek our own truth, you know, and go within and ask our own questions. Thank you for listening. Thank you for reading. Thank you for accepting me and receiving me. And have a beautiful day, a beautiful night, wherever you are in the world. Namaste.